There she goes. And I'd like to welcome in the commentary team today, Cassius over here. Morena Cassius. Uh, and Star Olsen here is calling the game. Star, another big day, another quiet day today. And where's we taste respects for the Mate or Philip Orton. Well, here we go, boys. Another year of championships, another big game of rugby league today. Yeah, mate, it's, uh, you know, we've been waiting all year for this, and uh, at the end of the season, these are the top two teams, and it's going to be a real battle out there today. All right, Cass, so on the uh, Fitira uh, team there, what are we looking forward? Uh, we've, we've heard the announcement of the teams going forward out there. The same, though, they are in their third year of the competition, and uh, what are we going to see from them today? Yeah, we're going to see what we've seen for the last two years and why they've been the premiers as they play a really strong forward pack game, but also when they go out wild wide they have a lot of structure uh, they look to their main play, playmaker Manaya Osborne who's moved to number six and so we'll see them you know really stay within the grind and uh, really have some special moves when they go out. The Hunters with um, number six is steering the team for them O'Brien uh, again without him I think uh, uh, University would, wouldn't struggle but they'll most probably won't get their plays like they normally have but University a very big pack uh, like to take it up the middle competition is going to be tough for both teams yeah definitely and um, you know University have been here way back in 2015 uh, I think it was when they last won the grand final so you know they know what it takes to win the game and um, so they'll be up for it as long as their forwards can hold 50 in the middle then they'll have a good chance of getting the win yeah the ground is hard and fast today Noel Woods is out in the middle uh, it's a big opportunity for Noel to ref the, uh, the game today been uh, around the fringes of uh, ref in the finals is his opportunity today. Oh, he's been the best ref uh, 2018 by far, and he's, he's really fit, so he's able to stay up with the play. So you need a referee who can keep up with the players because it's such a fast pace, especially the grand final. In the middle again, uh, the university is going to be kicking off, and they're facing uh, where they know they come from, Pornike, uh the south, and it's uh, there's no southerly uh, here today. And um, uh, Fiji Tara is, is facing their moanga at Ōtaki, so it's a, quite appropriate today to get the game underway. We're calling in Star, who's calling the game today. Star, what are you looking for today as well? Well, I think 
well, on what I saw from university last week where they came up the middle quite strong all day uh, from around the ruck, uh, Pitti will have to watch that. But equally, I think Pitti Tara uh, is quite capable of playing the same uh, type of football as we see the game get underway. Pitti's got the first use of the ball as they bring it back strong and mid in the two-man tackle. I thought it was a fumble at the, uh, at the tackle, but the referee's allowed to play on. Uh, a willing defence already from university and they need to be on top of their game because Fitty, they certainly won't die wandering as they're looking to shift the ball already down this left hand side of the field here at uh, Porirua Park. It's going to be a hell of a game I think already and the intentions are clear. Manihira just bumping him off as he's looking for a quick play the ball with the uh, university defence flying up in the base of that attack of, uh, of 50s. It's gonna be a hell of a game, and to be honest, I think with the kick on the end of that set, it's gonna be those engines who can last the longest from the two sides will probably take away the silverware this afternoon as we see a good kick put in by Osborne and equally a terrific chase matched, I suppose, by the willingness of that university side to bring the ball forward into this strong suddenly a knock on at the play the at the tackle referee woods i thought there was a hand in there yeah i think there's a hand in there um cass and just the start of the game a uh, fitty finished their sets quite nicely and got up in the air and you can see the bit of a win there and the, the fullback the yeah. winger for university just fumbled a bit there yeah he was a bit hesitant but fitty have started really strong that set they came out wide you know they made 50 to 60 meters on that set and then they followed up with that strong defense and they've they've managed to come up with, uh, with an error right in the prime position for them Noel woods has got to keep the 10 uh and he's making a making a big 10 for them so they equally can uh get the ball out to their backs pretty f straight straight away well i osborne went at the uh, went in at loose forward he skirted to the blind side of that university defense he stepped back uh, the defence was able to re regroup a university as it's Fitty with the ball held up on the line. Woods is keeping him back. Fitty comes out this grandstand side of the field. They're looking to shift the ball and do it well. Do it well. Right. Number 14 for Fitty Tera, Tangata Mani Hera, winning in the corner through the hands play. Terrific opening for the Fitty Tera side. Well, this uh, the planned move. You can see them there, Cass. They just spread it wide. They knew where they were going. They played the middle, yep. went through to the middle, uh, the two forwards, and they came out wide. Yeah, we spoke about that earlier. We said this strength, so when they come to the back, they have a whole lot of back doors. And so when they came down this left-hand side, they had a pretty much a two-man overlap. And so great execution from uh, Fitty early on. Yeah, so we can see what Fitty is up to again. They're going to take uh, the big boys up front and uh, hopefully uh, tire them down a little bit university. Um, it's early, early at the moment. We're only gone about 10 minutes, but 4-0 uh, to Fiji Tara right on this left side, eh? Yeah, definitely. And so, you know, university's got to... They know what's what's involved now, so they really need to man up in defence. Um, again, when they get get the ball, they've got to make sure they actually get out of their own 20 because they've been stuck in there since we started. Pretty early start to see what happens, but you can see, as you said before in the commentary, Osborne is actually... Uh, making sure fitties are uh, in line, are getting their, their uh, sets right and calling the, uh, you know, the, the, the tunes of where we're going at the moment. I saw Atafai, Atafai Osborne go in at uh, first receiver mm. and they just swapped positions, eh? and I think that caught them, caught them unawares and, and Osborne, we know how good he is, we know how much of a, of a playmaker he is mm. uh, and it was no surprise to see him take it to the, to the Bryan side and they worked it back to the middle edges guys alluded to and just through the hands it was just simple simple rugby league up the middle keep it up keep it yeah. keep it to the chest play the sets out like we're saying at the moment um we're looking forward to uh the next uh 20 minutes uh as we get closer to the uh, half time so it's going pretty quick at the moment yeah well it, it just shows with Fiji they've got a whole lot of playmakers all over the park so when they have their set moves they all know what's going on kick off it's fitty again to receive the ball osborne having to carry it forward his support play was slow getting there university managing to slow down the ruck area and they need to do that as fitty tada just drives it forward dane cooper he'll go forward all day he had a hell of a game in last year's grand final guys as you can recall and uh cameron coming forward bringing it back down the middle of the ruck 
slowing in to play the ball there, looking for a penalty for Titara. It's not coming. Woods is letting the play go. As they look to shift it wide and the Kahastan Jonovic has put the ball down. Yeah, just also like to um, acknowledge uh, New Zealand Rugby League taking the feed uh, for those who are out there. Um, at, uh, we're at Jerry Collins Park in Purirua. It's 4 0 to 50 Tara. It's a lovely day to hand in Wellington. The, si the, su the sun's out. Oh, sorry. It's, it's a bit overcast. It's a bit overcast as normal. But it's a beautiful day out here. Good crowd out here. Um, it's a bit of a shame, Cass. Uh, a lot of the whānau have gone to the also the Jubilee Cup yeah. and the Harden Cup final at Petoni today. Yeah, well, the, you know, all the staunch rugby union players have gone out to Petoni Rec because uh, Norths are in the final. We've had a great year. But, you know, right here, I'm just glad that rugby league's here at Power Park. So we've got university first time with the football. Uh, Tanoa taking the ball off the spread to the middle of the park and uh, University will need to find something we won't want to let uh, Fiti Tara get away on them fellas as we see their feet Brough going forward Fui Mono he'll go forward all day, he's a pretty willing uh, customer isn't he as we see again like we saw last week at Wise Park, this University side, big pack, they'll come up the middle all day and they'll look They'll be looking to squeeze that 50 side in so they can look to shift it out wide, bringing it back to the middle as this university side. Referee Woods has signalled last with a man down underneath the goal phase. One of the 50 Tara boys is down in the background. He took a, he took a knock, I think, and uh, he's slow getting to his feet. 50's with the ball. They're bringing it back on with a second carry. Still numbers. Still numbers in the tackle, which is terrific from university. They got a very tight defensive line too, has Fitty. They're looking for that error. Woods has seen something not square in the ruck is the call. Yeah, the injury down there star was to the prop for the university one. Uh, he, he took a bit of a bit of a shot down there uh, just prior to this kick to the side by uh, Fitty today. Osborne Peru, prolific boot on him. Osborne he'll direct the play all day as we can see already. He's finger pointing. Let's see what play we've got here. Cooper comes forward just to settle it down. He's a huge, huge unit. Noel Woods is still keeping a good 10. 50 with the ball, bringing it forward. Is there 13? Eddie Hart. Strong tackling though, University. I think they're up for it. I think they're up for it, University. But uh, Fiti Tara just settling it down again. They're looking for something to happen out wide. Their big prop though coming forward. He's strong. Cameron, he'll go forward all day. They're looking for a shift too slow though, I think. They won't get the shift that they're after, Fiti, but they are going to go with it. Chip through. Ooh. Picked up by University. He's and gone. they're away. Oh, no. Where's the chase from? Fiti, it's there. Oh, oh great. he's gone. Great play, great support. All the hunters, Afabasanga, made the break, he had it in support, on his left hand side, he picked them up easy, and under the post boys. Yeah, no, it was a great, uh, unfortunately these things happen, they yes. tried to trip, put, uh, kick it through, and uh, went straight into his hands. Yeah, they were very fortunate, uh, University, because you see when they were down here, it was a poor, a poor end to the set. Ended up defending and an intercept actually come their way. So, you know, this is the grand final day. You've got to make the most of your chances, and, yeah. and that's what happened right there. Yeah, and there. I think, uh, Cass, what we're seeing there is one of the chances. Uh, mm. In actual fact, we saw a lot of that through the NRL, yep. and they're copying the NRL. They're chipping them through. Uh, in actual fact, the good ones who chip them through, look look at where the players are. So, uh, definitely university, right in front of the post. It's, it's going to, should be 6-4 uh, mm. university. Um, but, but it's... It's back and forth at the moment, still testing one another out. Yeah, definitely, and it's going to see who's going who's gonna to still be there after 70 and 80 minutes, you know. They're both pretty strong up the middle. I still think Fitty has been quite dominant with their forward pack in, in regards to territory, but, um, you know, their opportunist try has really kind of uh, put University back in and, and kind of given uh, Fitty a fright. Just talking about the rugby again, we go back to the rugby, the Jubilee Cup, Harden Cup, and for North, and this is the North area out here, yep. Jerry Collins Stadium, uh, we uh, came here early and we saw the buses go down and there was a row of cars mm. travelling to for Tony. So it's a big day over there for North, for them and the women as well in the finals. They've got three teams, I think, in the finals. Yep. So what a what a magnificent uh, celebration for North. I'm not sure what the score is over there, but, you know, they've gone to the heartland of 
It's your Wakanda again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're all out there at the moment, but they'll be pumping. This club rooms here will be going off tonight, uh, regardless of the results. So they've had an amazing season under Jared Fasavalu and Richard Higgins and a few of the others. So, um, you know, hopefully they get the win. OK, another another big game right out here between Fittida and University. Star Olsen is calling the game here, and Cassie and myself are having our little bit of a sideline talk. But in, at, the, at the moment, Cass, uh, it's quite even up the up the middle thing, I think, with the forwards, eh? Yeah, it's still anybody's game at the moment, so they're still feeling each other out. Osborne was looking for the sideline with the way he kicked off. Uh, University's got the ball, slow play the ball, of course. They're uh, masters at slowing down the, at the play. You see a University taking the play to the left-hand side for the second for the second carry of the set penalty holding down in the ruck. That'll give them an opportunity to get into that the half where they need to need to come away with points given that they've got a bit of a wind yeah, that they, they have th to contend with they like to upset fitting once up uh, once fitting gets starts to get up mm. get the opposition upset and s upset themselves then you'll find that they start to play game uh, the rugby league again so they're, they're quite they're quite cunning Fitty. junior Philo with the first carry after the tap he got mid and a crunching tackle, and he's not well, his junior fellow. He felt that. I thought his head rocked back a bit. They need to pay attention to him as we carry on with the university bringing the ball up the middle of the park. Strong run again by Fu Mornal. They're looking to shift back to this right hand side, turning it back on the inside. With the ground, Michael Willis was trying to pick up his centre in Hemi. But unfortunately, he had a bit of a look at the defence that was coming up on his inside and put the ball down. I must say, uh, the university haven't finished uh, complete sets. Mm. They've got to. Uh, they haven't finished them properly at the moment, Cass. Whereas Fitty today has finished their sets quite. Other than that, uh, unfortunate try there. So. Uh, if uni, uni needs to finish a little bit better than what they're doing at the moment. Yeah, definitely. You know, they, they had a set move on there and Hemi was coming back, back into the traffic there. But um, fortunately, he, he didn't carry the ball properly. So, you know, when they get down here, they need to make the most of the opportunities. Where we're going at the moment, University 6, uh, 50 today, 4. It's a close encounter here. And we're calling you from um, Jerry Collins Park at Puru. A wonderful day. Good crowd out here. Uh, and also a lot of the crowd, as I said earlier, out at the Tony Rec with the Jubilee Cup and the Harden Cup. Scrum packs, 50 to feed the ball, it's there loose and feed. Of course, they go to this right-hand side. They're looking to find a lazy defence, trying to make a bit of a bust around the ruck was Atapai Osborne. That quickly closed. University taking it forward down the right-hand side of the ruck. There's some big units in that pretty side as well so it's going to be a hell of a battle in the middle Eddie Ha takes the ball forward strongly for 50 Osborne looking for that high up and under he'll be iced on that when it comes down <laughs> well taken by uh, Hollis he'll have a good game that boy Hollis I'm, he's a good boy he, he's small he's, but he's tough mm. he's strong he, he won't um, he won't back down for anyone. As we see their uh, winger in Asel Valley, just alleviating a bit of pressure for their forwards as they get ready to take their turn. Rawa, Rawa Lai comes forward. He went down before, I think, injured, but he's managed to pick himself up. There's a bit of a throw there. I thought a penalty was warranted, but you know, that's, uh, ooh, ooh, yes, yeah. as we speak. Yeah, but unfortunate that he was coming down in the tackle as well. well so well, these we sort of things happen. I, I, I would have gone up to, uh, up to the uh, box up there. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> Mono, he'll go forward all day, as we yeah. spoken about early on yeah. in the broadcast. He's, he's strong. He'll shake it off. Oh, Ooh. just got there. Terrific kick. Who was that, Hollis put the kick in? Yeah, it was Hollis. University 30 metres out, looking for a settler. Tanoa. University with the ball in hand. 50 coming in. Osborne, one of the first tacklers in there. Slowing to play the ball down. 50, two passes off the ruck. 
looking to set up something. They've got options. I see Hollis skirting out to the left. The fullback, perhaps something might come off there. They go that way. In fact, Hollis does pick up the ball, looking to pick up, I think, his wingers, but terrific sliding defence by the university side. They work it back to the middle. University. Afa Masana with a strong run. Woods. In the back, referee Woods. He'll have a strong game today. University looking to shift in, in two minds as to what to do. I think there was a there was a knock on there, or was there? I think there was a technicality that might. Well, no, no, he ended he, up in a bit of a mess there in the corner anyway. Yeah, there's a bit of uh, pushing and shoving around at the moment, Star, but uh, big in goals. Big in goals, Huge eh? Goals. <laughs> you can play a you can play a game with touching. That's what goals. trouble with rugby, uh, rugby in, in, in goals. So the league boys are not uh, used to that, and they held the ball up a little bit at the moment on that. But overall, Cass, um, you know the the game is going uh, to plan. I think for university, they're really putting the pressure on uh, Fiji today at the moment. Yeah, they've done really well, especially with um, their prop in their number thirteen, the Fui Moana boys. They've really been going forward, um, you know, making some kind of dents in the Fiji. Um, defence, so um, and now they've got opportunity to put some more points on the board. Strong carry forward from the kick off front of the post. Pitti defending strongly. There was a penalty there. No, it was a knockback. Hollis with the ball. Regathered. Slammed into the turf. Oh. Two in the tackle. One of them being their big prop, Kahu Cameron. Yeah, no, he caught a forward there, mm. Star. Just uh, good eyes from the, the touch judge on the other side there, put his arm up. Um, sometimes they put their flag up at the wrong time, but they put it up <laughs> the right time this time. Yeah, yeah I think, you know, they're, they're playing a flat, kind of a flat line running with uh, the Hunters to, to make some metres, but that time it was just a bit forward. So uh, the hooker there, Jamal. Tamavai needs to be careful when he brings his forwards into the game. Yeah, the, the University are testing uh, Fitty right up the middle, aren't they? They're not standing back. Uh, right. So, as you said before, see who cracks up in the middle first. Mm, Osborne with the ball off the scrum. Terrific fend. He's making the bus down this left-hand side. Well chased Ooh, and well chase. caught by the 12 out of the Victoria Hunters. Ta Noa. He got back. And that should be a penalty. Referee's allowed the play to go. University a bit quick in coming around the side of the play, the ball, I thought. But nonetheless, the referee Woods has allowed the play to go. Oh! oh where did that one come from, fellas? Oh. Junior Philo at his best. He's known for those hits. And we saw a classic one right there. Oh, my gosh. We've seen the pity boy stay down on the park after that thunderous hit. Osborne oh, no putting the kit. It should be a try here. Simple as that. Everyone was watching Osborne with the ball. He just dropped it over the top of that slow, I thought, at best, defensive line of university. And just an easy stroll in there for their winger, Tangata Maniheda. Yeah. So whilst they got the try there, a fantastic try. The injury down here, I would have thought Noel uh, played the advantage. Uh, he never came back to that injury and stopped the game. So uh, all credit to yeah. the uh, ref for continuing with the game yeah. rather than normally he would have stopped the game. So he's down there, a star, a bit, bit uh, injured at the moment. I'm not sure whether it was a deliberate uh, high tackle or whether it was just one of those things, two of them came into it. Nah, that was a great hit from Philo. He did a great hit. But, you know, the beauty of Fiji Tira, you know, they, you know, no more teams will be rattled, but they put up a set play straight after that. Shows the class of uh, Osborne there just to put the chip over the top there. No one at home, and then the Wonga scoops in and scores the try. Yeah, he was a bit slow down here coming up this side on the left side mm. there, old Aussie uh, <laughs> star. In his young days, he would have scooted through there. Mate, can we just keep an eye on referee Woods? I just noticed as he came back from the try line, he had a bit of a limp on. Mm. So perhaps he is under a bit of an injury cloud, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, he, he went into the game uh, with an injury, yes, with a leg yeah. injury. Uh, and he wasn't quite sure whether he'd make 100%, but he, he wanted to do a final. Mm. So he took all the precautions, yep. went to physio, and, yep. and I think he'll come through. I um, hope he does. He's doing a good job at the moment. Eddie Hull with the conversion. Uh, 35 out this left-hand side, just drifts to the left-hand side of the post. 
It is eight points to six to Fiti Tara. And uh, how long have we been going there, Cass, on that clock there? Well, uh, you know, my, my, the clock, our electronic <laughs> clock has oh, played just started in the second <laughs> But it's, it's been, a, been a very good entertaining game. Uh, quality game, quality uh, uh, packs from, it's uh, 3, 325, we've almost been going uh, 25 minutes at the moment. Yeah, well it's end-to-end -end stuff and that's what the crowd's come to see. It's such a huge crowd down, you look down there, it's, uh, there's a lot of understanding, they're lining up all around the park, so it's great to see for Rugby League, so, you know, they're getting their money's worth here. University with the kick-off, the dropping ball, pretty difficult those sort of kicks to get. Osborne managed to bring it in with one hand, he gives it off to his support, Cameron. University arrives in mass. This defensive line of University, though, I must say, is starting to show a bit of wear and tear at this point. Oh, two in there. Just to let him know that we're still here. Pretty tera. University won't go away. Osborne bringing his play back on the inside, bringing his support back on the inside. He does that very well, and he'll do oh. that all day. Tamati Davis, as we look to see that right hand side of University, put under the pump. That left hand side defence of University put under the pump. As we see once again, the, the big boy Cooper just bringing it up the middle. Inside the 10, referee Woods has awarded the penalty to Pitti Tera Osborne, rallying his troops, looking for a tap, keep the play going. I think that's the signal. Go that way. Cameron with the ball, taking the settler, almost getting there three metres out from the uni try line. Right hand side they go. His propping partner Cooper has a bit of a, a crack at the line. University hold him out. Only about a metre there. Oh, oh. drop ball by Pitti Tedar's halfback. Raw, an opportunity there to shift it, but put the ball down. Referee is called a knock off. Yeah, again, the hands have uh, let them down a little bit with Pitti Tedar. Uh, this end here, they did the kick in the last. A uh, couple of sets and they got to try uh, University. Again here, a knock-on. Uh, unfortunately, he never picked the ball up. The University ran away with it, Cass. Yeah, well, you see the whole back line was set out here on the left side, so they were ready for their set move, but uh, Tipping Royals uh, probably didn't kind of catch the ball first before he was scooping out, and now there's a result. They're uh, defending uh, down in the uh, green zone. University from the scrum will see a yardage set put in just to consolidate the ball in hand. Slow play of the ball, University, one off the right, sensible footy. Here 12, Tanoa, mid in the strong tackle. Osborne, one of those. University, bring it forward, this left hand side of the ruck. Strong, strong defence. The oh, 50 defence came off on that right hand side. I thought they were pretty much close to offside, referee Woods. Didn't see it that way. University bringing it up the middle. Stripped back behind to play the ball. Looking for those holes that might be there. It's the five and last. University with the ball. Looking for a long kick. Trying to claim a bit of field. It's been all 50, I think, in these last few minutes. In terms of time and position and field. University's defence comes up. Three in. One, two. Two in the tackle. Woods is getting them back. He wants to keep both sides apart. He wants to see a bit of ball movement, I'm sure. Fiti Tara just coming back, stepping back behind the ruck. Quick play the ball. University defence is starting to show a bit of wear and tear as the roll on. Well, Fiti starts to gather a bit of momentum. Even their centres are coming in for a bit of work in the middle of the park. Emmy. From the Hunters will need to do his part there and oh what a terrific kick I, I didn't see him guys I thought he was off offside to be fair was that Pitti Tera winger in was it Money Hedder or was it Davis Davis Davis, Davis. 
Davis on the far side. I thought he was in front no, of the No, no, he was, he was on side. Yeah, I was watching over there. He was right mm. on side. And again, Osborne yep. directing play, looking left, looking right. Seeing with your, I mean, he's such a... Uh, uh, experienced player, they're very lucky to have him fit you today. Yeah, well, you saw here he put on the chip on the left side for the first try. Now he's put a chip on the right side, but the the, the hunter's wing was too far back. You know, he was he should have been up a lot flatter, and then you know by the time he came up, fifty at the numbers, and that's a great try in the corner. Everyone should know that's fifty. They always do that. Mm. It doesn't matter what game they play and who they're playing. They always kick to the mm. wingers. Yeah. Uh, it's one of their specialties. So the opposition. You know, university hasn't learnt, like you're saying, the players sitting back too much. Yeah, yeah, um, and, and I think what Star said before, the the Hunters line is looking ragged in defence. Uh, they were they were strong early on, but they're starting to fall off tackles and let the uh, Fitzy get a quick play ball. So, you know, they really need to try and tighten that up in the middle. As he goes for the kick, it's 12 points to 6 to Fitzy at the moment. Jerry Collins Park, Puriru. Looking good for me. Looks oh, oh just shaved the left hand side of the As I said, upright. just a shade to the left. <laughs> well I think university we don't even need to keep keep the score tight going into the second half. They'll have use of the of the wind as well. So well, one thing they uh Fitty uh university's gotta to continue to worry about. Fitty is not worrying about the runners coming through one on one, they'll tackle yep. them. Uh university's going in three or four. Um, and Fitty's loving that. The more they take in, the more pressure they put on the opposition, the gaps are open. So University needs to change their style a little bit. And uh, the big boys, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, put them down and keep the spread. So there's no gaps there. Yeah, they, you know, they need to change something in the second half. They're playing really tight, trying to get behind the box, but it's it's not really working for them. Um, but I have to say, you know, that Philo, he's been outstanding in defence for them. And if they could all kind of carry off around him, they'll be... They'll be really tight. Yeah, that boy might want to. Uh, I might have a talk to him after. He want, might want to go to the Eels <laughs> next year. <laughs> oh. Back to the action with Fiji Tara taking the ball on the ball. It was one of those picks that could have gone down quite easily. University was hoping that was going to be the case. Three into the tackle here, one of them being Junior Pilo, who put on a massive, a massive uh, hit earlier on into piece as. University started to get a bit frustrated mm. and gave away a soft, a soft penalty, didn't they? A prior who's on now um, in the uh, the hooky berth, silly penalty. One Osborne just carved off 10, 25 metres, takes him into the opposition, the University half, 40 metres out. They've got the ball, they've got the field. They've certainly had time in possession, has uh, 50. Strong carry, Dane Cooper. Tough, uncompromising second row. He'll just trundle it up all day into the heart of that university's defence. We see a late hit put on by Junior Philo. Shoulder there, he was lucky to get away with it as the play continues to the right hand side of the park. It's 50 with the ball as they take it, one off the rut. Hayapa is on now. It's his first touch of the football, I think. 50 with the ball. They're bringing it back to the middle of the park. Osborne soon will be asking for it. There'll be a play set up. And they're starting to get themselves set out. As they go forward, 50 Tara, their 13. He's pretty skillful. Edi Ha. Quick play of the ball. Osborne's got it now. He's um, going for the spread. See. Terrific. Two-man cutout. Picked up there, fullback and Stonjanovic, hit and spin over in the corner. 16 points to a uh, six, uh, going into almost to the half time. Uh, another few more minutes. Uh, another example of Osborne's play, directional play out there. Yeah, it was just um, you know, University didn't need that. They needed to go in the half of that kind of score at 12, but now they they concede another try, so it's just going to make it that bit harder. But but the class of Osborne again, just spotting the numbers out wide and just getting the ball to the fullback there to score in the corner. Yeah, the the Fitties are finishing this their, their sets. Mm -hmm. They're making their six uh, six sets, uh, which uh, University has to do. A hell of a lot more tackling. So you can see the amount of tackling the university is doing. As you said earlier, Star is wearing the middle down. And they've got to earn. They've got to earn those uh, mm. their yards. They make them earn the yards. Don't give away these cheap penalties mm. inside their half. Next minute they're scoring. 
down in the corner. Uh, mate, they've got the wind against them. They've got a, uh, a side that's got their tails up in 50 tada, and they've got a skillful, as we know, 5 8 in Manaya Osborne. Yep. And, uh, you know, when you've got that against you, you just, just got to knuckle down, mm. you know, put your hand up and just go forward, and hopefully you've got a play that will bring something at the end of it. Right now, we're seeing nothing. Yeah, we all know is uh, when fifties up and their points are up, uh, pretty hard to knock them back. Yeah, they'll, they'll be hard to chase down. Um, you know, they're a classy team. They know how to manage a game. So, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of a um, lot of kind of big talk in the changing room for the for university because every time um, fifty go wide, there's always an overlap. You know, there needs to be some better communication, especially on the outside backs. And just for those out there listening, we're, we are at the Jerry Collins Park in Purirua with the finals of the Wellington Rugby League between the University and Fiti Tara. And don't forget tonight, the, the Saints are playing. Uh, they're playing for their finals, uh, semi-finals. They're playing against Hawke's Bay. And um, there's two wonderful games down there with the finals tomorrow at 5 o'clock, as well as those favourite Warriors start at 5, I think. The Warriors, they need to bring it home for these uh, band of loyal supporters. Uh, we're getting close to playoff time in the NRL Weedangi and we'd all love to, you know, to see the Warriors there, I'm sure. Uh, even if you are an Eel supporter, as we see Fiti Tara from the kickoff, as they're doing all day, just bringing it one off the ruck. Strong run. Manning's on there now for Fiti Tara. That boy Osborne in there at dummy half, just bringing his players off his hip. He's looking back to his left-hand side. That good 10 metres still being held by the referee with uh, Manaya Thompson. Putting in a <laughs> huge kick. And i got to say, it, actually, it's a knock-on to 50. It's it a knock should on to be 50. university's ball. Yeah. Should be university. Lucky to get away with that because it was a high up and under, wasn't it? And, I, I mean, even you, Cass, would have trouble bringing oh, that. Oh, mate, well, that's the second time Rallywise has been hesitant under the bomb, so look for Osborne to pepper him with uh, bombs all for the rest of the game. No, that was the mirror of the last set. Yeah. Exact mirror. They went to that side, they kicked up on the last, and mm. the poor winger over there is going to have a nightmare, as I agree. <laughs> yeah. So the balls are up in the air. He's going to get it all day now. They're going to test him. Uh, one thing that Fiddy d does do, they look for the weakness, and they'll mm. exploit that all day. Yep. University to feed the scrum. Bringing it forward, looking for a half break. Defensive line of Pitti is back, set early. A good sign that they're up for it, for sure. It helps when you're ahead on the scoreboard, for sure. A lot more enthusiasm than the University boys. That's been shown right now, two in the tackle. University looking for that penalty, it's not coming. Bit of frustration, I think, given the the state of game. If your university player, Hollis, coming in to do his bit for the team. Strong run, though. Lost the ball. Referee Woods has allowed play to go on. 50 has the ball. Referee has called knock on. We'll take the scrum. 50 Tedar's ball. Just yeah, against uh, and, and Cass, that was... Uh, um an indecisive play over there by them. They, they weren't quite sure whether to throw the ball, hold the ball. They're on their fifth. You know, one more to go. They're not finishing their sets properly. So University is paying for those uh, little bit of errors at the moment. Yeah, when you see the number six, O'Brien taking the hit up that a forward should take, you know, the team's kind of flustered at the moment. So they need to defend the set. They don't want to go into the sheds with another try against them. Pity with a settler off the scrum. Davis. Sittling it down, play the ball. This hard working loose ward, Eddie Hart, been very impressed with his effort this half. Cooper. Jeez, I thought he was going to slip a pass. Thought best, and I'd better take the ball forward. And he does that strong. Manning taking his turn the right hand side. Gives him excellent field position. Where's Osborne? Eddie Hart with the ball. Here is the penalty. No. Not playing the ball on the mark is the indication from referee Woods, who's holding up. Seems like he's recovered a wee bit from his uh, leg injury. Bitti Tara turning it back in the inside. Osborne asked for the ball and got it. Looked to send the ball down this blind side to his support. Ball went to ground, of course, as you can see. 
Referee signaling last. We know where this ball is going to go, guys. If you're a betting man, no. It's going towards not one of those better kicks, Osborne. Hollis with the ball, looking for the quick tap. He gets it. He's away. They're on side. 50 Tara defence managed to scramble well because Hollis was coming back for a quick tap. They're still looking for their penalty. University with the ball, charging up the middle. This, I'm very impressed with this 50 Tara defence, the way they're able to get back and uh, and D up. Rubber light. Quick play of the ball. Junior Filo. Bringing it up the middle. They need to get some park, does University. With the ball, they're looking to shift. Head fake at best. University. University still with the ball. I think the signal was put up by Woods. That was the five and last, I think. They continue with a makeshift kicker. High ball. This could be anyone's. As it turned out, Cooper has the ball. I think they all need a breather after that. That was pretty hell to scout a football. 50 with the ball now. Junior Filo is coming up out of the line. And a smart player like Osborne will identify that later on. He's looking for the big hits. He's just wasted energy. I think more than anything, he's frustrated with the way the game is going for University. As we see the tackle made right on the halfway. Cooper. Two men standing near his ground. Bring it back to this grandstand. Osborne turning it back on the inside. Picking up his centre in Davis. Go to ground. Managed to slip it. Slow play of the ball. Way they go. Eddie Ha. Very impressive as I said earlier on in the commentary. Taking three university defenders with him. 25 metres out to the right hand side of the post. Osborne looking to shift on the last. Oh. The numbers are there. The gap is there. It's a simple matter of a drawn pass. And in number 15, he's gone over in Satch. No, it's Galu. Galu. Ula Galu. And in the corner. Two men riding him to the ground. Somehow, he managed to get the ball in in the corner. 42 minutes, 20 points to 6. The conversion to come. 42 minutes. 20 yeah. points to 6. 20 points to 6. Conversion to come. Yeah, that was poor defence from University there, you know. They've been coming down the side all day and, you know, for the winger to stay back on the line, they didn't have any momentum going forward. So, the, the, you know, the tackle was always going to fall over the line there. A little bit of the fitness at the moment showing up. Uh, fit is uh, pretty much uh, well, well trimmed, well fit. Uh, University struggling a bit at the moment to, ca uh, to keep up with uh, the speed of the game. Yeah, well, the amount of tackles they've had to make is really uh, taking a lot of gas out of the tank. Um, and when you got Osborne sniping around looking for the spaces with his long balls and cuts, so, you know, it's a real struggle for Hunters at the moment. And so, uh, you know, they're really going to have to score next, otherwise it's, it's pretty much game over. Yeah, the, the, the Fiji today are making good yardage from the from the kickoff, kickoff as well. You know, they're getting well over the halfway mm. uh, when they're in the fourth tackle. Uh, gives them a chance to get up close to the goal, 22, and then they kick for the corner or kick, kick up top, uh, yeah. up high, and uh, put the pressure on the university. So, again, you know, it's going to be a bit of a tussle in the middle there. Yeah, definitely, and, um, you know, they really need to tighten it up um, just so that they can um, just stay in the grind because they're totally out of the game at the moment. Yeah. So as we go at the moment, 20 points to six is... Uh, for Fiti Tara, it's a big game out here at uh, Jerry Collins Park. It's almost half time, it's uh, getting on to well over 40 minutes at the moment, Star, so I'm not sure uh, if they're playing for injuries or what. Yeah, well, I'm looking at the uh, sideline timekeeper, there's no indication mm. that <laughs> she's in a hurry to play the Hooter to end his first half. But what a, what a wonderful game, eh? Excellent uh, display of rugby league. Uh, yeah. The quality of rugby league is fast, furious, and you know everyone's given it their best shot, both sides. But at the moment, Fitty's got the the go forward a little bit stronger than University. Well organised, I think, mate. They've, they've spent a bit of time, haven't they? Uh, just doing the basics well at their trainings. Uh, nothing flash. It's just something that uh, we've come to expect of uh, Fitty Tara. They're well drilled. Uh, simple things like support play as we're seeing out there um, with Edie Haas stepping back to the left knowing that 
He had the support on the inside. Referee is called, play the ball called Held. Fifty still inside their half, looking to shift Osborne. He fakes, he, he runs himself, steps back, picks up his inside support. Makes it just inside the 50 Tera half. This defense of universities coming up in a, at best, a jagged line. I think the, the, the tiredness is showing through as Woods nearly collected one around the ear. Oh. Managed to avoid a, <laughs> a, a low scud missile type of shot. Um, Rawalai had to bring it back under all sorts of pressure too. University, though, however, still have the ball. Junior Pilo, he's tried hard all day. Mm. Sometimes um, his defence has let him down when he's gone looking for the big shots. Play the ball, University. Go forward as the Hooter sounds for half time. Oh, we don't need the game to end like this from a University's perspective. They've tried hard. Just get back, I think, into the uh, changing room, sit oh, yourselves no, down, and yeah. see how you can bring it back in. Yeah, it's, it yeah, it's a bit testing out there as they finish for the four, first 40 minutes. 20 points to six uh, to Fiti It's a uh, it's a it's a game of two halves, I think. I think the next half, um, University. Hopefully, they go back to the changing rooms and have a rethink of where they're going, where yeah. some of the areas they're putting. Well, they've got the win the next half. That's the positive thing. So they need to kick it down to the corners and keep them down there. They have to turn the big men from Pitsy around, make them turn around and try and get back. That's the only way they're going to get back into this game. Mm. Well, of the team here, we're going to go back to the studios uh, in a minute, uh, Corey, and uh, we'll come back for the second half in around about 25 minutes. Back to the studios. Yeah, we're back at... Jerry Collins Park, it's uh, kicking off. It's 20 points to 6 to 50 today. Well, University's got it all to do, fellas. If they want to pull back this 50 today side who were rampant in that fourth, in that first half, you know, fair enough, they had a strong win uh, at their backs, 50. Uh, an opportunity now for University to do the same. On 50, as we see them with the third play, the ball, Junior Filo taking a strong run, getting it back to the halfway, holding down in the tackle. Uh, that uh, 50 to the side, they're looking to shift now, they're turning it back on the inside. It's one of their favourite plays just to see if there is a lazy defender on the inside and make 10 metres with that carry. The University on the last big kick needs to go in by O'Brien, he puts it high up and under. Easily taken, however, by Son Janovic, who scored a terrific try, I think, in that first half of, of footy. Uh, 50 side slowly getting back, so it's the turn of the backs to work their way up the middle of the park. We'll see if they've got what it takes going into this. Uh, suddenly, this uh, 50 side, Dane Cooper, with a strong run. Woods is looking for any infringements in the play of the ball. It's been pretty clean around that area, I thought. If the guys just want to get on and play footy, and that's from both sides of the of the um, of the field. As uh, University are looking to man up on that blind side, and they've forced a a fumble, a turnover for that University side, but they've allowed the ball just to go to ground. The referee Woods has said, "That's enough. Let's pack a scrum, fellas." As you can see, uh, Uni came out, um, Cass and. Uh uh, are finishing their set. It was a good set for them. They finished, they got up there, they got up uh, and they have attacked Fiji today on their last set as well. So they've made the intentions to um, complete the sets, tackle and uh, man up one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, that's a real positive start from uh, from the Hunters and we mentioned before if, if they are going to come back they have to come and win, win the battle of the, the, the ruck there and so great opportunity for them right on halfway. University with the ball from the scrum. Ooh. Rather high tackle, allowed to play on. Turning it back down the middle, Junior Filo. He is having a strong game. This second half, we'll see much of that from him. He'll end up probably playing the whole 80 minutes as we see Babington. Uh, no, it was McGee. Sorry from the Hunters. Head rocked back, but he carried strongly. Managed to offload. Gives University an ideal opportunity 10 metres out from the try line. Gave away a penalty, Petitera 
just a wee bit too long in the ruck area according to referee Woods. A chance for University. Long time since they've been in the 50 red zone. Junior Fuller with a strong carry after a two-man spread. Taking it to the left-hand side of the goal post. Straight out of dummy half, a quick run, quick skirting run. But held was Jamal Tamavai. No, such pride. He's back on, taking the place. Oh, there's some strong defence. Some strong defence by Fiti Tera on their line. Needs to be. This is where we'll see where the university has got the ability to cross the line as they look to shift. Hollis with the ball, he's jinking. Oh, terrific try coming Ooh. up. Terrific try. Great try. Michael Hollis, he done it all. He stepped. He put that grubber kick along. And thankfully for a big end goal here at Puru Park, <laughs> mate, he scored it. <laughs> it was a big end goal, and that puts him up to 20 points to 10. And you did mention about Hollis in the first half start, that um, he's a guy to watch out for. Mm. He's just showed his speed there, Cass. Yeah, he's similar to that uh, Matt Duffy for the Dragons, the fullback. He's really small in stature, but, you know, they play yep. a really hard and fast game. And, uh, you know, for Hunters to come back, they need to inject them into the game more. I think his speed, especially around the 50 middle with the big men, uh, Tyreen, I think he'll be a key player for them going forward. Great try. Yeah, they got just a bit, a little bit out-muscled there in uh, 50 on, their, on the back steps there. They, yeah. um, they came up, they had their defence uh, coming up pretty good, but, uh, you know, little feet, little little swerve, and yeah. Uh, yeah. he was under the post. Big, big in, in goal, <laughs> so you can't, <laughs> you can have a crack at that now. Well, one might call it generous. We don't need very generous. generous mm. Very generous. And I think both sides are taking advantage of it. We saw Manaya Osborne uh, do that in the first half, didn't we, Cass? And uh, yeah. the turn of this university side. But having said that, mate, if if Fiti Tara gets into the opposition twenty, we'll probably see a high kick put up by Manaya, given the size of his in goals. Yeah, they they will, and they'll they'll be targeting the uh, the the left winger again but this is this is excellent start from the hunters you know they needed something to to signal that they were still in the fight and so uh you know this is a good start for them yeah 20 points to 12 or well, fantastic it's only about 10 minutes gone in the game so we've got a we've got a good competition here it's only eight points in um bit of an injury over there i think it's the halfback too the halfback he got injured um as they played halfback? The, yeah, halfback. Mm. deep in there raw yeah, that's, that's a key playmaker going down for them. So, uh, you know, a lot more responsibility is going to come on um, on Manai Osborne, not only at number six, but now he has to control both sides. I think you were very generous with the time. We don't, according to my um, watch, it's only about six minutes gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it feels, you know, if they go any longer, mate, they're going to turn the lights, out, the lights on out here. It's getting a bit dark at the moment, so start. Manai Osborne ready to start play, just waiting for his half to get off the field. Anyway, did we, talk, did we talk about the Warriors? Who's going to win tonight? Uh, I think we spoke about that yeah, this morning both, on you, the sports right. show. Sorry, yeah, sorry. I mean, that's right. You guys haven't looted yet the Warriors. Yeah. No, we're, we're both going for the Warriors, aren't <laughs> yeah. we, Cass? Yeah, mate, we're or, going for the Warriors. Or have you got second thoughts? No, no, no. I'll back them. Right. So we Ooh. thought that uh, Piti Tara may be too strong for the university side. Um, but given the, the closeness of the score line and with the wind at the, uh, that they're facing mm. and University right. making full use as we see a strong run coming down the middle of the park, this University side, they won't die wandering. Junior Freelaw steps back behind the ruck and earns his side a penalty. He's been outstanding, Freelaw, you know, their big hit in the first half and already in the second half, this is fourth strong carry. So usually a back rower, but he's so tough, he's, he's playing pretty much played in the whole game in the, in the front row there. There was him and another boy, Jeremy Moke, I think we. Jeremy Moke, yeah. Jeremy, when they played <coughs> for the Eels out yeah. at the Fitty Park, and back then he was he was only young and he was hard as nails. Yeah, 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 nice, slim, uh, yeah. but very tough, uh, very talented too. Yeah. You know, knew, knew how to play rugby league. Um, and that's the beauty about some of these players at the moment. Oh, Did it go oh, out there? Oh, out? What, what's, what's the call? Come on, touchy. The touchy has got his flag down. It's penalty. Is it offside? Oh, offside, that's right. Yeah, offside. Penalty. O'Brien with just a casual kick to the sideline to restart play. University 20 metres out. They look to shift it to the middle of the park. Their big 18. Offside. McKee earns his side a penalty. 
Fifty tera now are starting to suck it in now. Well, if I was the and university, I'd take the kick. You think so, we? Well, then it takes fourteen twenty. Yeah, well, you true know? that. I think uh, they just. Junior Fielder wants the ball. He doesn't. Oh, oh. there was a. Uh, whether he was just a. Uh, I'm not sure what what he was doing. Whether he had a bit of a blood rush there, but McKee takes it to the middle, just a meter out. There is some confusion around the ruck. What's the call? No. Pryor with the ball from the ruck. He takes it back. He's made no ground. McKee is trying his luck again in behind the ruck. They seem to think that there is a bit of a gap there to exploit. University options either left or right. They go to the right hand side. It's on here for all money. If they look to take the line on, they'll score. Oh. They'll score. I think they were just a bit too eager to push the ball. If they had just taken the line on more, I think Hollis had the ball. If you had just gone to the line, just that couple of more, they may have had him. Yeah, they had a few tackles up their sleeves, so it was, you know, it was surprising that they were going for the, the all-glory pass there. The winger should have caught the ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a hell of a, a hell of a pass at best. You this, know, it was shoulder what? high to was, you know, behind the eyes. Oh, star, admittedly, star. that's why the wingers are there. Catch the yeah. ball, catch yeah, the tries. Yeah. Uh, no excuse for that. Uh, it's un unfortunate that'll be the try on the corner for University. I know, Fiti Tara with the ball bringing up strongly. Dane Cooper, he's had a strong game. Strong game. Play the ball. University, I think, are just creeping inside the 10. Gone unnoticed. Plays allowed to continue. Slowing the ball down. University. This boy, Edie Ha, bounces off one. Ooh, ooh, he's ooh, lost ooh. the ball. Paul Carey giving University the opportunity to come back at him with that fumble. I thought I saw a headbutt in there. I thought I saw a clash of heads. Tanoa. So he's taking the first knock on. Yeah. He's taking the first knock on. He played the advantage, which was good. He's mm -hmm. taking the first knock on. But, uh, you know, they're testing each other today. <laughs> right at the second half. We did say if University wants to win this game, they've got to change the way that they uh, approach it. And they're, they're definitely going man on man rather than two or three in the tackle. Yeah, they're getting up in their face now. And that's what's making the difference. The Fitzy boys are not really comfortable when you get up in their face. And so, um, great start from the Hunters. And they've still got another half hour to try and try and stamp the authority on the game. So big game today, we'll, we'll get some uh, crossovers later before, hopefully before to see what the scores are at uh, the Petoni Rec there, <coughs> Kaz. Um, Norse and University, you'll take Norse, no, no doubt. Yeah, definitely, you know, it's, um, it's a home team and all the local boys have been had a, had a pretty amazing season and it will just be even better if they uh, get the win today. O'Brien fed the ball for the University scrum 30 metres out, they worked their way to the middle of the park. Midi with the ball, they bring it back this left hand side of course you guessed it Philo with a strong run taking play 15 meters out from the 50 tada line oh mate the head rock back there Jeremy McKee knew what that was all about pushed back university there's a bit of niggle in this oh, there's Sinbin. a bit of niggle Sinbin. someone's been given 10 minutes 13 yeah, not quite sure what that was for. It must have been on the ground. Is he yeah, it must have been, got, must have been on the ground. But Idiha, has he been given 10? Yeah, he's been given 10. Yeah, loose fourth. Uh, he's been playing pretty good, as you said, today. He's been pretty rugged at the yeah. uh, for the whole game. Uh, but hey, game of rugby league, university's got an opportunity now. Old boys, university, um, successful. So... Poor North's gone down, eh? Yeah, well, that's uh, just come through the Facebook feed there. Um, OBU have beaten North's 37-1 uh, in a thrilling game. So, 37-31 yeah, in the thriller. Oh, yeah, mate, so, mate, yeah. mate. The cars will be coming slow back this way. Oh, they, yeah, there'll be a few few cars diverting home in a couple of pub stops, but, you know, unlucky for North's. Yeah, yeah, and they've been doing well all year. I mean, all season they've been the form team, come backwards and forwards. And yeah. What, what a big... Um, a turnaround north of head, especially at this poor Basin case. You know, a lot of the players went to uh, Tawa yeah. mm. and Jayville, mm. and they've sort of come back to north. So, um, hope some of those guys will come to uh, rugby league. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they've got a good catchment here with all the local colleges, <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of players to, to feed them. So, with the kick in front, they've, they've taken the option of, of securing mm. two points to get them closer to that 50 uh, score line. Hollis. 
with a simple kick. It's over. Yep. That yep. breeze is 20 points to 14. Yeah, points 20 to 14, pretty 14. close now. Yep. The converted try. Yeah, that was an interesting call. Um, a man just been sent to the bin. Um, usually you want to go in with uh, trying to attack the 12 men and keep using the time. They lose a couple of minutes here, but I guess, you know, it's going to be a tight game, so they had to take the two. Where yeah, did we see that? Where did we see that in an NRL game just recently when the opposition was down to 12 and they took the kick out of respect? I think it was in the state of origin. Yes, that's right. Well, there's no respect here. Come on. <laughs> 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 this is a final. Oh, yeah, for well, sure. Mate, they should have played it out, played the sets out. Well, here we go. We're, we're, we're not out there. We're only, we're only uh, three blokes who have got a, an opinion. We don't need so... Uh, well, it's a close game. 20 <laughs> points to 40, mate. Yep. Convert a try or level it, and then it's all on. Thompson to restart. Osborne, sorry, to restart for the 50 Tara side. Hollis, I think, with a strong carry back. Wasn't waiting around for his support runners to get there. He just wanted to get the side on the front foot. They worked their way to the middle of the park, University. Their live wire hooker on their Satch prior, as he done last week against Wainui Omata, looking to bring his runners left or right side of him. Junior Philo trying to exploit the gap behind the play the ball. There he goes prior, as he done last week. Takes play 10 metres inside the 50 Tera side, half. And a weak kick, to be fair, by O'Brien, put up in the last. Gives the opportunity now for Fitty to comfortably put on a ruck play to bring him back inside the university half. A good step by the Fitty Tera side there. Quick play the ball. Osborne looking for the penalty. There is none forthcoming, but he has made the pass. Looking to pick up his outside support. A long speculator kick. It's a knock-on, no. Well gathered by that right-hand winger, Eddie Asovale. No, Aaron Whittaker. Woods is calling out, get off. He wants the play to pick up. 17 is on now for the 50 oh, Here he goes. Cooper. Oh. Stay away from oh, the sideline. Oh, stay line. away from the sideline. Oh, amateur play there. Oh, a lie. He done well in regathering, but he blew it by going to the sideline. That's and, one, uh, yeah, that's one of the rugby players, I think. Oh, it has to be a rugby yeah. player. You know, when you're a league player, you know the importance of staying in, and yeah. he just was running straight to the line. Yeah, he's had a bad day, hasn't he, Paul? For, you know, give him, a, give him his shoes. He got the first half there. All the balls went to him. Yeah, he yeah. dropped all the balls. So, um, a lesson learnt there. Uh, the, the coach and the, and the coach out there and the... The university players be looking at him and saying, boy, come into you the know, middle. Let's, let's yeah, hope man. it doesn't haunt them tonight, mm. you know. Let's hope it's not a factor in determining the outcome of this game because it's been a, a pretty good game of footy. Mm. Very good game of footy. Very good game. Osborne to feed the scrum <coughs> just inside the university half. Shifting the ball to the middle. Turning. There's a four back on the inside. 50 to that. Oh, oh, knock on. Knock on. Knock on. Yep. Everyone saw it. Frustration. I just in a wee bit of a hurry to play that ball. Yeah, just to just to remind people, this is brought, this commentary is brought to you from Atia Toy Fam Sports Team and the, the the crew behind did a wonderful job out there on the park and also live stream uh, through the Wellington Rugby League Facebook. If you uh, want to get a live stream now and listen and see the game live, uh, it's a fantastic game. You're missing a good game out here at uh, Jerry Collins Park. Atia Toy Fam Sports Team, Star and Kiss, uh, both Warriors fans, bring it together. <laughs> So from the scrum, University takes it to the right-hand side of the park. Hemi, play the ball, turns it back up the middle, strong run. Jeremy, Jeremy McKee just makes play inside the 50 to the half. Holding down too long as far as referee Woods is concerned. Gives University an opportunity to get closer. And closer to the 50 Tera line. Hollis with a long kick making some 25 metres. 
taking him 15, no, 21 metres out from the 50 tada try line. An opportunity here, perhaps to take it to the middle of the park and open up either side of the park. 50 tada just drives him back in the tackle, however, making it a wee bit difficult for the university side to get any momentum out of that first carry. However, the big boy, Fui Mono, strong charge, three metres out from the Piti Tera. Hollis spots the gap. He took the play to the middle of the park. He thought he spied a gap. None there, still on this left hand side. No, they take it back to the middle. Oh, Fui Mono. Good hands. Coming off a flat pass at best. Knocked on or forward pass? No, it was called a knock on. It went, knock on. went, it went forward. Yeah. Yeah. Came out of his hands and went forward. Unfortunate. Um, I'd see over there some of the props over there on the other side there, a bit of injured for Fitty today as well. So a bit, few men down there for Fitty. They have to um, be uh, matching up yep. a bit more now. Kahu yeah. Cameron. Great yep. defence there from yep. uh, Fitty today. They're under the pump at the moment. All the momentum's with the Hunters. So uh, they did really well to defend their line and, and come up with uh, force and error. So we have been going just not quite 20 minutes start. So, yes. So we're, we're a bit on time there. Kahu Cameron down behind the play. He'd be struggling to get back into the scrum. He makes his way slowly back in the back. I think no substitute. And we've got to remind you there's, there's a man down for Pitti today as well in the bin. In the bin, that's right. Here we go, Cooper taking the ball off the scrum feed. Just a settler to the middle of the park. University have got a bit of enthusiasm about them. There's some sting in the, in the tackles now. They've got numbers in there. Uh, they're trying their best not to give away penalties, which was their undoing in the first half, I think, from that university side. They, they must have realised that, you know, make them earn the metres and, and the rest will come. So we're seeing that with, with Osborne. Just chain passing, I thought, a rather a lazy, lazy pass, hoping that his outside um, support will, will get them some metres. But Osborne is jinking, he's jiving, he's going everywhere. And I've got to say, that's that young Atafai Osborne, doesn't he? Uh, look like his older brother, Manaya mm. Osborne, who's with the ball now, just kicked it way into the university red zone. Taken easily by Hollis. He gives it off to his uh, his winger in Asovale. Strong fin. His numbers in there. O'Brien in at dummy half. Here's this left-hand side winger. He's had a horror game. Lower oh, light. He's, he's scragged to the ground. University bringing it back behind Ooh. the ruck. They find that hole that they've been searching for all game. In their second row, managed to offload. Sure. Now they're starting to shift it out to that right hand side. University put the kick in along the ground. A great kick and chase. University pinning him in there. Money header had to scramble back to get that ball. Osborne having to bring it back 10 metres off their try line. 50 tera. Simple ruck play. Just for everyone to catch their breath. University, the defence is back, set, ready to go. Slow, play the ball. In there, Junior Filo, bumped off though. A massive hit put on, but Cameron was equal to it. Play the ball, here we go. Thompson, or Osborne it is, bringing it up the middle. Referee signal, that's the final. And I, Osborne puts a huge kick, just gets inside the university half. Great step put on, but easily wrapped up by that 50 tera defence. Having said that, university just <laughs> makes 10 metres inside that 50 tera side, and you've got to be feeling sorry for it. Oh, well, I, at the moment, he's coming in for all sorts of treatment. University, however, still on the attack, 30 metres out. Prior bringing his runners off him, looking for those holes. Fui Mono hit hard, Hollis with the ball. Dummies inside, gives it out to his centre. Looking for support, takes the tackle. Woods, that's the last. 
University with the ball and then Hollis a cheeky kick through and it's a try. But I think he's offside. Yeah, he's offside. Three yeah. more not. Meter or two in front. Quick tack put on by Fatitara. Oh, what a terrific hit there. A quick uh, play was met with a, a solid tackle. Money had us all an opportunity there to have a go. Anyway, some 35 metres out from the line. Fatitara. Quick skirt from dummy half. Slow play of the ball. Junior Philo has had a whale again for that university side. Cameron, strong tackle. University. They just make halfway. Fatitara. Oh, Junior Philo. I don't know what he had for breakfast this morning, <laughs> fellas. <coughs> But I tell you what, he won't die wandering today. He'll be sore. He'll be exhausted. But he know he gave his bit for the side. Osborne with a cheeky lob over the defence. Easily picked up by University. Their centre was up for it. Afa Masanga. <coughs> bit of a nothing play happening there. University with the ball. Just inside their half. Pryor bringing his runners off with a long pass. Midi, strong tackle. Hollis there in a dummy half. Gives it off. They're playing it on the keep going. Woods has seen something, but he's allowed play to go on. Pryor bringing his runners, picks up Hollis. Just inside the 50 to the half. Pryor picking up O'Brien. O'Brien, step back. Looking for a hole, quickly closed. Prior there, Fui Mono off the right. Barnstorming run, Fui Mono. What have we got, a rake? Yeah. We've got a rake there. Yeah, they're doing pretty well there at university. Uh, again, they're, they're finishing their sets. They're, doing yeah. the, uh, they're playing tight within. They're going up the middle. They're not going outside. They're just doing the one-off, one-off. Yeah. So they did have a co good conversation at halftime. Yeah, well, Fitzy's under the pump. Look at them. They're all uh, all down on their knees at the moment. But, um, you know, they're their grand finalist winners for the last two two years. So we know they can really dig deep when they have to. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what uh, University want to do with this penalty in front of the post. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for the kick again. They're going to go for the penalty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that'll close it up. I mean, converted try, puts them in front. So it's uh, one of those sort of things. You know, it's, it's this sort of weather. Eh? It's certainly a game of two halves. We saw where in the first half was all Fiti Tara with the field. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing that change now with all university. So are they back to 13 players? Uh, they're, yeah, they're, yeah they're, all, they're back. They're, they're back, to, back to their full squad now. So, um, you know, I think Fiti, even though they, they get with the penalty, they'll be happy that they're getting a breather now. They were really under the pump then, so now they get a breather and they get to go back at halfway. Kick successful yeah. by Hollis, takes it to... 20 points to 14. 20 points to 14, 50 16. 16. 16, sorry, we... 20 points to 16. <laughs> 2016, mate, I've got over, overpowered with my pen, Ren, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got a few more in reserve. <laughs> 14 minutes to go. 14, 14 minutes, minutes to go. go. She's going to be a tight one. She's going to be a tight one. Whoever makes uh, the mistake now in the next uh, 10 minutes, mate, will... Uh... Well, Fitty hasn't been down in, into the other, into the 22 there. Yeah. So Fitty's no, been playing no. the whole yeah. game in their own yeah. half. So they need to get down there if they're going to have any kind of momentum coming back into the end. Yeah, lost their structure. Having said that, University's, you know, bought on their, their game plan and, and st stuck with it. Oh, short kick. Oh. 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 Leave it, leave it, leave it. Is he going to touch it? Is, oh, oh he good thing it. Mate, I thought he was going to... I thought that centre for Victoria Hunters was going to grab it up on Masanga. The way he was charging after it... Well, uh, now, if, if he had if, touched it... Yeah, if the 50 player had just let him chase it and take it, they would have got the ball back. They would have got the ball was, back. He was yeah. going for the ball. Yes. I really thought that... <laughs> I think he had a bit of a brain snap, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, here we go. So this is uh, puts Fitty under the pressure again. Mm. So penalty, an opportunity again for University to get inside the Fitty Tera half. 
some 10 metres gain with that kick O'Brien at the tap gives it off to Pryor, Pryor of course off to Eugenia Philo who else takes the ball strongly make 5 metres, 8 metres play the ball, University in the middle of the park Pryor bringing his runners off him I won't be surprised if he starts to skirt out of uh, dummy half shortly picking up his uh, 13 and Fui Mono has had a strong game, there he goes there he goes fellas, strong run Pryor out of dummy half they're bringing it back to this grandstand side. O'Brien with the ball. Picking up his outside support. Strong run. Bustling run. The centre for the Hunters. Afa Masanga. O'Brien at dummy half. Looking to shift it. Pryor with the ball. Fui Mornal, the big eight. Going forward. Carrying four on his back. They need a quick play of the ball. Does University. Pryor to play the ball. Gives it back to his second rower. Bringing it back to the middle. Would have been better off to shift it. We'll see what options they got here. Hollis with the ball. Cut out pass. Bringing it back to the centre. Uh, on the turnover. Strong. Strong. Hemi there. Good defence from Fitzy there. Yeah, very Excellent. good defence. <coughs> he just threw the ball away. That's a, that's a penalty in anyone's books, gentlemen. Yeah, he's keeping them back, uh, Noel Woods. He's uh, keeping them, you know, being honest for both sides and not favouring any sides at, uh, with the uh, 10 metres and also the tackles. But he today under the pump for sure. It was a slow run out of dummy half down to that uh, far side, just looking for a bit of a gap that wasn't there. In fact, I think it was a bit of a more of a lazier, a lazy run than what we're normally seeing from uh, the Fiti Tara. But having said that, Cameron with a strong run up the middle of the park, play the ball. Osborne ducking, ducking Junior Filo's attempted tackle. Managing to send the ball out to his outside support. 10 metres out from the half as they trundle it forward. A massive run by Cooper. Last tackle, referee Woods is having a pretty good game, fellas. Osborne with the kick, and that's a tricky kick. At best. <laughs> oh, he's having a bad day, Cass. He's having a bad day. You know, yeah. And he's hurt himself as well. You know, well, he's not putting himself in the right position that, to actually take those kicks, and so third time unlucky. Yeah, third time unlucky. It's Fourth. inexperience there. We, you would have seen the shape of the kick. He would have been bare just to leave it. Bounce, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was heading out. Yeah, it was going out. Oh, well, 20 points to 16. This uh, commentary is brought to you in association with RTI Tour FM on live stream with Wellington Rugby League at Jerry Collins Park, Cassius and Star. Myself and Corey and the team are here. Wonderful day here. Good crowd. Uh, almost getting uh, 20 more minutes to go, Cass. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, minutes, 10 minutes, minutes to go. To go. And then, uh, then we'll find out who's the finalist today. But it's been a great game. Why do you won the first uh, reserve grain over the Marlins? And that was a fantastic game as well. Pretty today with the ball from the scrum. First time they've been in this side of the field for a long, long time. They need to come away with points. Cameron just takes it forward. Strong tackle with who else? Junior Philo. His tackle count must be right up there, gentlemen. Play the ball. Fiti Tadath with Osborne. He's a strong individual. Turns it back inside out. Picks up Cooper. Cooper trying to offload. Takes the tackle. Shrugs him off. Osborne with the ball, turns it back on the inside. Cooper with the ball again. This is terrific play. Oh. Terrific play. Edie Ha. It was a well-constructive support play. Dane Cooper, instrumental in all of that. He had plenty to say after that try was scored to the university players, let me tell you. And we talked about it, Cash, just earlier about Fitty not being in the uh, university's uh, 22 or near the goal line. One, one mistake, draw the uh, pause, and Osman inside pass. Magnificent uh, play there by the Fitty yeah, well, today. That was their first opportunity in the second half to be down there, and you know, one from one. So that's what the good teams do. They get the opportunity and they nail it. We look at the Hunters; they would they've been down here quite a bit, and the yeah. other, but they haven't been able to score the points. So. Great, great resilience thrown from Fitzy and again Osborne was in there with a set play turning back in and then back in again and great try. 
Yeah, defence wins the game and they've shown it uh, time and time again, Fitty. It's the third time in the championships and uh, they haven't changed their style, so. Well, and why would they, Widangi? It, it served them well these last three years since they've entered the competition. They've, they've taken the game by storm. And, uh, you know, today's effort is not surprising the way that they've um, put their game plan together. They're very confident in what they do. Yeah. I think they've got players that can slot in. Cooper looks like he's trimmed down a bit too. He's yeah. not so big like he used to be, Cooper. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And he's getting around the park a lot. He's 80-minute game, just almost. So, yep. you know, some really good uh, talent out here at the moment. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, 26 to 16. 26 to 16. What a game, eh? 26 to 16. 10 minutes to go. Yeah, well, it's actually seven minutes to go, so it's... Seven? Um, you know, oh, they have to score two mate, tries. I didn't realise you were star. We're counting down the time. Uh, mate, we're <laughs> counting it down, buddy. You know... We've got to stop watch here. We don't need ten aqua, yeah. mate. Ten aqua. It's NRL rated. Yeah, hope that's. <laughs> hope the Warriors <laughs> can use it tonight. <laughs> oh, so here we go. Satch Pryor with the kick. Kicks it long into the Piti Tara half. They need to force an error. University, if they have any chance to get the ball back, oh. they bring it forward. Penalty. Cooper. Oh. oh. What's happened there? Knock I missed on. that. Knock on. Knock on. Knock on. Knock on. Oh. It should have been a penalty, mate. Cooper. You, you would say that... Uh, he's not happy. Moko uh, Cooper. He's <laughs> not happy. Yeah, you'd say... And that, you know, he wasn't passing the ball. No. Oh, yeah. He was going down on the ball. Mm. Uh, the, the touch mm. judge, uh, we could see it from here. But this is what happened, Star. You you um, said that quite, uh, quite mm. true, that the uh, university needs to make a mistake here for 50, and they have. Yeah, they have to score here if they want to have a chance of winning this game. There's a knock on oh. here, or was he a two in the tackle for a strip? But they're taking the knock on. It's allowed 50 Tara to bring the ball back. Cooper, big boy. University needs a game to force that error to have any chance of coming back. I think there's some 10 points deficit. Time is running out for them. Some five minutes left. Edie Hart, strong tackle by Pryor, I think. Fiti Tara bringing that up the middle. Junior Filo, who else was there to meet them? He's had a whale of a game, that boy. Down that blind side they go. Cameron offloads to Cooper. Cooper offloads to his uh, second half, second row of Faiumu. They're starting to play a wee bit of touch on it. Osborne with the ball, takes the tackle. Things better orbit and trying to push the pass. Last signaled by referee Woods. High, up and under, put up by Edie Hart. <laughs> and he's found some space. University oh. went all sorts of bother there, but they managed to collect it. And not before the pretty defence came at him. Asobale, he held on, played the ball. His pairing in Rawalai, trying his best to come out of dummy half. O'Brien in that dummy half, brings his runners off him. Strong tackle. Edie Ha, I think it was in there. Massive. Yep, O'Brien. O'Brien can't see his support having to bring it out of the dummy half himself. Pryor found the gap behind the play of the ball. He made some 10 metres before he was taken by his opposite in Osborne. Long search oh. kick, it's a knock on. Oh, disappointment written all over his face. He probably oh, could have let that one bounce, eh? He probably could have let it bounce. Both the wingers having a bit of a shocker, <laughs> one would say. <laughs> Money header, that was a dipping type of kick though, eh? Yeah. yeah. Dipping type of kick. Cass would have had trouble pulling that one in. Oh, definitely, mate. I wouldn't have been there. I'd still be on the yeah. sideline trying to get there. Yeah, Jerry Collins Park is the finals of 50 today in, in University in the Wellington Championship uh, Rugby League. It's 26 to 16 to 50 Tara. Six, five, six minutes to go. Three minutes. We on the RTI Tour FM uh, coming live with Wellington uh, Rugby League's face, Facebook and live stream as well. So University O'Brien looking like they're going to push it through Hollis, picking up his outside support. 
They've tried hard all day, University, but you know, those last passes have gone to ground and it's proved costly for them. They've had a number of opportunities in the second half to, to put a play on, but uh, unfortunately, uh, as I said, they just haven't quite nailed it. They've got an opportunity here to bring it back to the grandstand side. That was a play that was orchestrated, but unfortunately, from O'Brien, the outside didn't know what was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a bit of a bit of a 50-50 pass there, and there yep. wasn't really much space, so it was always going to be hard for him to pull that in. Same line as what Fitty, uh, Fitty was doing in the first half. Yep. Yep. Same, same line, same play, but you're quite right, Star. Uh, you can see the opposition. They had a bad time. The wingers on the side. <laughs> He's dropped the ball. On, on, on uh, crucial time over here, Fitty scored. He dropped the ball over on the other side in the first half twice, and Fitty scored as well. So yes, yeah. I wonder if they got any uh, reserves over there called wingers. Perhaps we shall see. With uh, time almost up, time minute and a half, forty-two hours. As Osborne feeds the scrum, picked up by his younger brother Atafai Osborne. He sends it out. University now having to defend. Strong run, Cameron. He's just been chugging up all day. No need to rush to play the ball. They've got points on the board. Lost ball. Lost ball. Or there was a strip. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I thought there that. was a bit of a knock on. Yeah, yeah. It was very much the same as what this one down the corner was. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Osborne with the ball. I've got to say that Atafai has been a, um, one of my players of the day for uh, 50 today, right? Mm, He's definitely. been everywhere that loose forward. Oh, oh. Idiha. Idiha. Wow. Sorry. Yeah, what that a That was terrific. a slam dunk. What a terrific uh, tap back on that far side. Asovale. I'm pretty sure he plays a bit of basketball. Hear me. Yeah. Pushing the ball now, University. They haven't got much else left to do. Trying to find their spaces out there. Fiti Tara back in numbers, set, ready to go. University bringing it back. Pryor bringing his big boys off of him. Half break made. McKee, I think, 25 metres out. Options left to right. They bring it back through O'Brien. Turns it back on the inside to Junior Filo. Nearly put the ball down. Filo, they'll have to run it on the last play. They've got nothing else to do. A kick won't do them any good, but they chose to go that way, and they might get one back. They might get one back. Wow. Who are we to say that wasn't the right option? <laughs> Hollis put that kick along the ground, bounced up off the defender. University regathered and scored. And I think, is that the hooter? That's a, that's that's a hooter. The hooter. Is that the Huda? That's right on time with our Right clock. on time with this. Uh, so it's going to be 20, 26 points to 20 to 50 Tada. With a kick to the, come. With a kick to come. What a magnificent game for 48. Eh? It has been. It has been. We don't, I think. Uh, and I think the reflection of the score um, reflects the game itself in terms of both sides. It was anyone's game at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, some, yeah, some critical. Errors made, which proved costly for that university side, Cass. Yeah, well, I, I think the, the losing in the game for them was taking those two penalty kicks in front of the post. Yep. Yeah. When you play a team like Fitzy, you have to go for the points. I mean, they were a man, a man down, man in the bin, and they chose to take the two points on both occasions. So the only way to beat Fitzy is to keep attacking. So I, I think that was a downfall, and at the end of the day, they just didn't have enough. Wonderful occasion here, too, as we see the Fitzy Tada youngsters coming down to yes. congratulate their team a terrific effort uh, that's a three-peat that's a three-peat for 50 Tera. it hasn't been done in as long as that I can remember yeah, yeah I think uh, North said that didn't they three and they were going for four yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then TA tripped us up on that's that right. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 David Lomax was the coach Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and after, and yeah. after that he gave up rugby league for good. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Norths uh, had three in a row. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they go for the four, so it's fantastic. Well, well look, we're, this is uh, at uh, Jerry Collins Park. The winners for this year, the Wellington Rugby League, is uh, 50 to Dar Star and Cass. Um, it's been a great uh, call um, for your play of the day, uh, Star. Well, 
you know, I was I was very impressed by that uh, that back row of Toddy Edie Ha, that 13 yeah, or 50 yeah. that are. I thought he was outstanding. Um, we know how good Manaya Osborne yeah. can be, but that's only on the back of a good go forward, isn't it, uh, Cass? Yeah, definitely. You know, Manaya was definitely the man for me, um, just in regards to how he was setting up the plays and, and keeping them in the games and, and those towering kicks to the winger on the left hand side here. So that was really key for me. But also, special mention to um, Junior Filo, he was outstanding in losing yes. the team. 80 yep. minute prop, running and tackling the way he did was just, uh, was just amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the call today from Star and Cassius and the, the rest of the crew here from Aotea Tour FM. Uh, and also, it was great to have the uh, Wellington uh, stream, uh, Wellington Rugby League streaming the game. I hope you enjoyed that for those who are listening. We'll go back to the studio and we will talk about this in our sports show next week. Don't forget to join us from 8 o'clock. Kia ora. Kia ora. Clark, tonight, let us proceed now with the official award ceremony for your 2018 Grand Finals. Handing out the awards is chairman for Wellington Rugby League, Stacey Perrett. Firstly, uh, we will have our officials uh, please come through and uh, accept your awards. Thank you. And now, please, can we have the runners-up for this year's Wellington Rugby League Grand Finals? A big hand of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause, please, uh, for your runners-up, Victoria Hunters. Please come through and accept your awards, please, uh, Hunters. As the players come up and uh, accept the awards, I've just got the cap for University Hunters. Uh, Mickey O'Brien with me uh, to the side here. Uh, it's been a big season, no doubt, and uh, I'm sure you want to give some, some thanks to some of your supporters uh, who have helped you out over the season, yeah? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, big shout out to all the, the wives and um, partners that um, put out for all our rubbish throughout the year. Um, yeah, you get us back now, so um, yeah. Big cheers. Give him a clap, boys. Yeah, shot. Um, yeah, big thanks to our, our supporters that came out today and um, all the coaching staff, volunteers. Um, yeah, just last of all, thanks to the boys. Um, not the result, but hey, that's footy. And uh, congrats to Fitty. Awesome. It's been a big year. Uh, no doubt your boys have put in a lot of effort to get to this position this year, yeah? Yeah, um, heaps of effort. Um, yeah, kind of, kind of lost for words on, but a bit gutted. There was an awesome, awesome fight back, but um, no, nah, yeah, Fitzy just too good at the end of the day. So uh, well done, boys. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. The runners up for 2018, Victoria Hunters. <laughs> and now, can we please have? Your winners of the 2018 Grand Finals, Wellington Rugby League, give it up. Te fiti tēnā. Tēnā koutou, hala mai, no mai.
Tanero, uh, <laughs> um, I'm sure you want to give a big shout out to your supporters who've uh, helped you get to this point this year. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, uh, I guess I've got a lot of time to get to the ring. I can 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 get a mira no ke aku e te kai whakapāho ngā kōrō u tāino ki runga ki a mātou, te a te kapo whiti te rā, engari, a e te hunga, uh, can we just give a big round of applause to our opponents, uh, Victoria Hunters. And just um, secondly, uh, just to add to the bow, uh, we want to give a big shout out to our um, supporters, a big paki paki to our supporters, they came all the way from Ōtaki. Uh, to our kids, to our wives, uh, uh, that sacrifice and uh, put up with the time that we have to train together and uh, just a big acknowledgement to them and um, just to the, to the competition, uh, to all the officials uh, and the people that have helped bring this together. Uh, super privileged to be able to make this the third time uh, this year and I'm um, really honoured to, to be able to receive these accolades. And just on behalf of uh, the 50 Te Rā Prems, uh, just, just for the future of league, we hope to come back next year bigger, stronger, and, and with the whole comp this year, it's been really physical, uh, tough on the body, but at the end of the day, that's, that's, game, uh, that's the game of league, and we're just really happy to play it and play it hard. So to the brothers, Victoria Hunters, uh, tough game out there. Uh, you know, it's, it's not easy. Defense is right on point and strong runners and, and strong heads and strong minds and just clashing. So, I don't hear now, Koro Tena Tato, Akaki Tato, Yatato Kato, Kiroto, Otaki, Reda Fakangahu, and Reda Tena Koto, Atena Koto, Tena Tato Kato. All right, just before we uh, hand over the uh, trophy, uh, let us now uh, announce our player of the match, Madnaya Osborne. And a round of applause now. Please accept your trophy for the 2018 Wellington Rugby League Grand Finals. Fitzy Tiller.